Hey creative people, you're watching Shiny Films and today I'll be showing you this one super underrated but also super useful effect in HitFilm Express. Today's video tutorial will be a beginner tutorial rated 2 out of 5 on the difficulty scale, but it will take some time to get used to this effect after you've understood it. And before we begin this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel Shiny Films if you haven't already. I make hit film tutorials like this as well as other video editing tutorials and a whole ton of other cool stuff. And follow me on Twitter at Shiny underscore films. Here I've got two clips. I've got a road clip and I've got a snow clip. And I'm just going to use this one effect in both clips to see how you can really adjust the coloring of your video to make a completely different mood. So normally I would use on a clip like this, I'm going to do some basic contrast correction because it's been shot very flat. So this isn't the actual effect, but I'm just going to quickly grab the brightness and contrast effect, which is, by the way, the most basic beginner brightness and contrast effect. Normally I'd use curves, but for today I'll just use brightness and contrast. I'm just going to raise the contrast and raise the brightness until we get something that's a little bit punchier and looks a little bit nicer. And now we can start using this effect. And this effect is the hue, saturation and lightness effect. And basically what it allows us to do is to change the colors of our clip in a way that the curves, the levels histogram, and all of these other effects can't really do. So let's just grab the hue, saturation, and lightness effect real quick and just drag it onto our video. I'm gonna drag it on after our brightness and contrast. Now, if we just open up our hue, saturation, and lightness effect, we can see we've got our master as well as all these different colors here. So let's just go into master, which is basically everything to see how it works. Saturation is the most useful one of these all and it is basically how vibrant the colors are or you can make it completely desaturated to make it black and white so that's pretty easy and then hue shift will change all the colors along the spectrum so if we go 180 all the greens will be all the green yellows will be flipped to this purple and everything will just move along the color scale and the lightness is to do with the lightness of colors but i wouldn't really use this um, in the master anyway so the hue, saturation, and lightness effect is really useful first and foremost just for adjusting the saturation of your colors, which is, which is probably the most reason why you'll use this effect. Every time you use this effect, you'll probably adjust the master saturation in some way or another. But this effect gets really interesting because you can actually go down into individual color channels and adjust what the colors are like for each of these colors. So for example, I'm just going to go and try to make her face a little bit more saturated. I'm just going to reset the mask saturation for now. And human skin tones are generally a red. Sometimes they can go, they can go a little bit more into yellow as well, but generally you'll find them in red. And an easy way to see uh, what is selected by each color channel in your video is to just adjust the lightness parameter and you'll really easily be able to see uh, what is defined as red. And you'll see here that the snow somehow has this really red tint, which is okay, but all of her face and her hair is red, which is what we want. So if we just adjust the saturation here, we can make her face a little bit more poppy. And if we just uncheck and check this effect, you can see that it adds this warmth to the video and it really highlights the subject of our video here. Now we can also change the mood of this video in a different way by adjusting, for example, the, uh, the leaves here. What we can do is we can go into yellow because you'd think they're green, but most of the time when you're looking at outdoor stuff um, and with plants and everything, it'll be a mixture between green and yellow. So you might have to adjust both of those individually. But you can see if we go in lightness that basically all of these plants are yellow color. And we can go ahead and adjust the saturation of them, or even more interestingly, we can actually adjust the hue shift. And that'll change the color of these plants. Now generally, uh, one beginner tip is if you're not really sure what you're doing, don't go too far with your color grading. But I think that if you're beginning, uh, if you're a beginner and you're just color grading and you don't really know what you're doing, it's best to just play around with the colors to see what you can do. As you can see, when we adjust uh, the color here, the hue shift, we can make it more red and more like it's arid, or we can make it a more lush green. Now we do run into problems here with the face. So if we just try the green, we can see that it works even better, but it doesn't, it selects the, the leaves, I should say, but it doesn't select the face. So I'm just going to go ahead and make those hue shift adjustments in the green instead. Now in this particular clip, it's of course completely up to you what you do, but I might just make it a little bit more yellow. And that way I get 
more of a monochromatic color scheme where I have everything in this yellow, orange, red uh, color rather than having the, the, the green there to stand out. I might just have it in the same kind of color scheme. And you can even raise the saturation if you want as well. So here are the changes we've made with our hue, saturation and lightness effect. As you can see, it's gone from this fairly standard outdoor shot into something unique and something of our own. And we've added a lot more interest into the subject and to the plants here. Let's take a look at this clip to show you how you can really go, not necessarily overboard, but you can really uh, dramatically adjust what your clip looks like with the hue, saturation and lightness effect. I'm just gonna drag the effect on here. And here I want to, as you can see, we've got quite a couple of greens, a few greens here. Uh, and I just wanna make it more, less lush green and similar to the other one, I wanna make it more red and more orangey. And that's actually super easy to do. What you could do, theoretically, is just go into the hue shift and just shift everything down. But that kind of makes this road uh, look really pinky and everything, and I don't like the way that that is. So I'm just going to leave that like it is. The first thing I want to do is to get rid of the greenness of this. So I'm just going to go into the yellow, because this is probably mostly yellow. And I'm just going to shift this down a bit, like so. I'm going to do a similar thing in the green as well. And now we've really just completely changed the color of it so it's the same color as our road. Of course, this is very unrealistic, but it really does open up your options when you're thinking about what kind of things, what kind of colors you want in your video. I'm also going to go into the red here. And that'll mostly be for the road, as you can see. So I'm actually going to raise the saturation of this. I don't want it to be completely colorless. And I might actually uh, lift the saturation of the yellows a little bit as well. Now we've got our cyans. This is mainly the mountains, as you can see here. As you can see, there's not actually much color in there at the moment, but if I wanted to, I could either raise the saturation to bring some more blues in as a bit of a balance, or if I really wanted to go hardcore, I could just remove the saturation, the saturation from the cyan area, and then it could turn completely red. And I think that's actually kind of quite a cool look. And I mean, a similar thing can be done for the blue as well, but I actually like the way that the blue and the red work, so I might just raise the saturation of the blue as opposed to the cyan. And the last one we haven't actually had a look at is magenta. If we just open up magenta, we can see that uh, when we change the lightness, there's really nothing in this clip that's magenta anyway. So that's not really worth worrying about. And of course, if we go into the master saturation, I might just raise the master saturation a little bit. And then I might actually remove some of the saturation in the yellow just that I really emphasize this red road here. I'm going to add a curves effect just to add some contrast and adjust the luminance values of this clip. And as you can see with our grade get going, we've completely changed the mood of this video. We've turned it from a green, uh, not necessarily happy because it's pretty bleak to begin with, but we've completely changed it to be completely red, um, almost like post-apocalyptic kind of thing. But that will do it for today's video. That's the hue, saturation and lightness effect in HitFilm. Hope you liked it. If you did, then hit the like button, of course, and share it with people. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shiny Films, if you want more content just like this. You can follow me on Twitter for more content updates than I can give here on YouTube. And I'll see you later. Stay shiny.